Angel is a master portrait painter. His work is amazing, extremely detailed. Well, I'd say that he's one of the most important portraitists in the United States. And he's, you know, what I would call a, a, a contemporary portraitist. He's doing modern work, though it's informed by the whole history of art. I've learned more from him than probably I've learned from art history professors that I had at, at university. He's like, he's a walking, walking encyclopedia of, of art history. I grew up in San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico, in the uh, suburbs, actually. The first time I saw a drawing, because my mother, she made like two balls like that, and a little thing, and, and I looked at it, it's just, oh, I was mesmerized. I said, oh my God, you can do that. So I was uh, 23 when I went to New York, but well, then I, I got into art and more you know, seriously. And I started painting and I started making drawings and, and the people liked it. When he came to San Antonio, he, he's always had a fondness for San Antonio since the beginning uh, because of the Latino heritage that's here. For him, San Antonio has always seen him as a son of San Antonio. See, I would come back in the winter because I hated the winters in New York. But one time, I brought him with me, and he met Santa Cisneros and uh, Ito Romo and uh, Franco Mondini and a bunch of friends, uh, the people from the Gu Tienda Guadalupe, and uh, he liked it. Well, th what happened was that, um, you know, to me, at that time, I thought of Texas like a, sort of like a hickey and uh, it's, it's, so I wanted to stay in New York and but then um, I started looking into portraiture more seriously and there was something it's kind of magical and you know and it just happened. His studying of art here was very different because of the Chicano art scene. He came at the, at the height of Ch the Chicano art scene in San Antonio. So he was going, he was getting kind of like on the street learning about Chicano art, um, San Antonio style. This is a man that practiced and practiced and practiced and honed and relearned and unlearned the whole process of finding the way he was going to paint. Well, he painted a lot of uh, Latin, uh, Latinos from San Antonio, Mexican-Americans, a, a lot. In terms of his influence in San Antonio, I think he's acknowledged as a master and someone of extremely rare ability, and at the same time, somebody who's very socially concerned and someone who wants to make a political point in works of art. I do um, self portraits because uh, it's, some, it's a reflection of our humanity. That whole issue of portraiture, it was almost like a reflection in identity, right? One of the most interesting aspects about his work is his engagement with Mexico. He got an NEA to go to Mexico, stayed for six months and that was his base. But he went all over Mexico and he painted a lot, so he did a lot of paintings with Mexican influence. What's most interesting, perhaps, is the Wrestler series. So he takes on a particular persona of a specific Mexican wrestler, and it's his way of engaging with Mexican art and also with popular culture in, in San Antonio and the American Southwest. And he says that's his way of wrestling with the art world that doesn't see this kind of painting as valid, wrestling with his identity of being a Puerto Rican in a Mexican-American and Chicano community. He has always been so supportive of all the artists in the city and always seeing the, the value and the, the value to the community because of the art. 
and, and I'm still exploring things, you know, it's, you know, trying to think of other possibilities about, you know, art. And, uh, and it's exciting because it's something that you make.